Hello everyone, welcome to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk, you know it. And as you can see we are on the metro, yes. And I'm all by myself here because this is the last stop. We are going to Orcas Hovi today. I wanted to say e-dog, but today, yes. And let's get out first. Because it feels a bit awkward to talk on the subway. Although I'm by myself. All right. I'm not sure which way will open. Let's have a look. Left or right? Left. Okay, let's go. How do I get out of here? Yes. So we are on a so-called Vesterut. We took the green line um, out as far as it went, at least on this metro, because you can go even further to Vallingby and has to be Strand, has to be Gord. But as you can see, I'm literally the only one that went off here. Or maybe there's one other person over there. Yes, there is. Nice and quiet, just how I like it. No, not really. Sometimes I like it when it's really busy as well. Um, so it is around, what is it, 9.30 in the morning, I would say. And the temperature is around zero degrees. And I made a little bit of a silly mistake by not bringing a umbrella. Because when I left this morning, it was snowing like crazy. But it turned into rain, unfortunately. Oh, I like the tiles here. That's pretty cool. All right, it takes a while to get out here. Okay. Let's see, where can I go? Orkeshov Slot, Orkeshov Sim or Idrothal. Mm, let's go this way. Why not? Um, I used to live quite close to here. Um, in Bromma. So I know this area a little bit, but there was actually more on the other side of the subway station. So I have no idea what we can find on this side. I do know there's a lake. Um, so let's see if we can find it. Oh, a nice echo here. Almost started to sing again. Not really, but almost. Some stairs again. Let's go up. Almost 400 walks, people. Whoa, do you hear that? It's raining inside here. <laughs> oh. Rain, rain, rain. All right, let's do this. Oh, this is not gonna be fun. Okay, let's try anyway. Okay. Horrible weather today. Let's go in here. Okay, what do we got here? Some apartments on that side. A little playground here. Oh, I must say the weather is not as bad as I was fearing. <laughs> it could have been worse. I think this is part of a school. 
Yes, as, as usual, like almost every school kind of ha has a... Um, like a metro station close by. You know, it's very handy for the students. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. Let's go in there. This is going to be a, a, a random walk, I can tell already. Hey, hey! Yeah, yeah, man! Say hey! Hey! <laughs> and you say hey? Min kanal heter Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Du kan titta. Okay, cool. Hello. Tak, tak. That was fun. These kids were asking like um, about my YouTube channel. All right, so we kind of ended up in the forest here. It's funny because he uh, he asked me, "Adu Shendis." It means, "Are you a celebrity?" That was funny. So let's make that the word of the day, right? Shendis. It's K A N D I S. Shendis. That was funny. It was like, "Oh my God, I'm gonna be a star! <laughs> I'm on YouTube." You know, that if the kids are like that, then I don't mind filming them because they're super enthusiastic. <laughs> enthusiastic. I think in general, kids love it more than adults do. Okay, as always, I have no idea where I'm going, folks. Okay, what's this? Some rocks here. It looks pretty nice here, actually. Oh, here it says on the sign. Do the best. You're the best. Took a picture of that, that was nice. Some rocks, cool, cool, and this is, I think, this is the swimming pool, I guess, the swimming hole. Okay, so which way are we, shall I go? Well, let's go in here, man. Let's go into the forest, people, into the wild. <laughs> oh, I'm already thinking this is a funny walk, like, okay, let's go here. And let's get horribly lost in the forest. Okay, squirrels, where are you? I must say it looks pretty nice here with all these rocks here. Pretty cool. Some bird is whistling to me. Oh, that's a bird, no squirrel. Oh, it wasn't actually a big forest, just a tiny, tiny little plot here. Like here in the west of Stockholm, in the whole Bromma, Nora Engby, there's a lot of forest here, like kind of all the way from all week utot like and outwards in stockholm oh here you can see there's still quite a bit of snow now i can tell i'm you know i'm more outside again outside of stockholm because when i went to Udenplan it was rainy but now it's snowing again it's always that one degree temperature between a temperature difference between uh, the suburbs and um, and the city. So this is actually a nature reserve, as I can see here. Schuke Lutens Naturreservat. Cool, cool, cool. So do I have new? It says. Oh, here. Yes. Um, but you know what? Let's let's cross the street here. I don't know where I'm going if I go. Let's cross the street for a bit. Oh. 
Snowy, snowy, snowy. Still better than rain though. If it would have rained right now, oh, it would have been a, a mess already. I'm still surprised my even my phone is actually working. Because usually it stops working when it's like snowing on the camera like that. But we'll see how that goes. <sighs> So, how's everyone doing in the chat? I love the chat vibe nowadays. Well, I always love them, but especially in the last week or so. You know what? Let's go in here. Let's go in the back streets of Orkeshoorv. <laughs> Not even sure if I'm still around Orkeshoorv. I think the area, the Stadsdiel is called Norda Engby. Oh, this is cute. Here, look at this little house. It's nice. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know, what's up here? Let's go in here. Some apartments over there, let's check it out. Ah, oh, finally, some stairs. Oh, they're doing some new construction here. Let's have a look. Oh, nice. This is a whole new little area. Some cute houses here. But can I go down here? No. No, I cannot. Because I kind of ended up on some hill. This is going to be one of those walks where I end up in a completely different suburb again. <laughs> wow, I'm really high up here. <laughs> Okay. I can har <laughs> I can hardly see anything because the snow is like all in my eyes and uh, it's hard to keep my eyes open because I'm like walking straight into it. But you know, you know how I roll, everything for the video, everything for the channel. There's no stopping. Oh wow, I can have a look down here to see how high up we are. It feels, really feels like we're in the middle of the winter now. See, there's an area over there that I would like to get to.
Oh, cool. Okay, there's the there's the main road again. So probably if I go straight ahead there, I'll probably get to Broma Plan. So let's not go to the area I just pointed out. But let's go the other way. Because I think if I go out there, it'll probably take me an hour to even... Uh... To, go, to go back to the nearest like metro or bus station. So, Well, not bus, but metro at least. I always prefer to stay a little bit close to the metro station. So I don't waste too much time traveling. Because buses are nice, I enjoy riding a bus, but it can take sometimes 20 minutes before it even comes. Especially in weather like this, they're notorious for not showing up the buses in, in, uh, in the winter. Oh yeah, so for the map people, I know who you are, <laughs> and you know who you are. Sedem Bakken we are at, and this is... Spongawegen. So Spongawegen is a very long road that goes all the way um, from Sponga behind me to Broma Plan in front of me. It's a very long road. It's a few kilometers long and uh, there's some wonderful areas along it and I still have to explore all of that you know as I said the other day I think it was yesterday I've hardly scratched the surface of Stockholm like in these western suburbs here oh there's so much stuff to explore there is lakes there is you know a lot of areas with big houses apartments you know there's a windmill over there that I still have to explore um, nature areas, fields, hills to climb, you know, there's a limited stuff that I can do and will do. Because, you know, the other day, I know I, I almost don't dare to say it up loud, but I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if I actually get to a thousand walks one day. Because I'm nowhere near stopping yet. I'm just getting warmed up, people. I mean, I do have days where I'm slightly bored and I'm just going to be honest with you guys, you know, you can always be like um, full of energy and ready to walk and so it goes a bit in waves, you know, it goes a bit up and down. But today, although the weather is a bit shitty, yeah, there it goes again, um, still enjoying it, it's nice. So if this video stops, then you know why. That's because there's snow on the camera and it turns off. That has happened to me before. Oh, I like this apartment. It's funny, it's like half, it's like yellow on that side and green on that side. That well, looks cool. Oh, they're all like that, even those. Oh, these ones are like brown and yellow. That's cool too. See, there's still signs of spring. <laughs> the little purplish flowers. Okay, let's go straight ahead here. It's 
so this is called Saliksvägen. So we're basically just walking straight ahead to... Is it Bromaplan? Not even sure, to be honest. Not even sure. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see where we end up. Yeah, we got all these typical suburb apartments which are three, four or five floors high. Do you see everywhere on my videos? Some with a little balcony, some with a little bigger balcony. Oh, it's definitely coffee time once I arrive to Bromaplan. Plan. I can tell you that. Fötti food on snooze. Okay. Let's see how well you know Swedish culture, people. What is snus? Tell me. This goes for the non-Swedish people, of course, because every Swedish person knows what snus is. Another question to the people in the chat. Do, have you ever tried snus? That's the question. So one, do you know what it is? And two, have you ever tried? I cannot recommend it. It gets you dizzy the first time. But I'm not a snus person. I don't smoke. I want to say I don't drink. Yeah, I do drink. <laughs> um, not that much, though. I know I sometimes talk about drinking and things like that. But maybe sometimes it sounds like I'm some kind of alcoholic. But I'm definitely not. I don't drink every day. Sometimes not even every week. So I, I don't drink much. Anyway, so I'm not a smoker or whatever either. I don't think of any addictions besides watching too much on my phone, like everyone nowadays, and, um, you know, of course, coffee. But that's it. Oof. Feels like I'm getting some water in my stabilizer now because the snow is turning into rain. So don't get angry if the video just stops like that. I don't do it on purpose. Ooh. The wind is picking up as well. I know there's a very good cafe at uh, Broma Plan at the station. That's a nice place. Hey. Oh, that's good. She was still laughing. <laughs> well, she was walking with the rain. rain. I was, I'm walking against it. It's a little bit harder. Okay, I did not get lost. Let's cross the street. Because I know where I am now. Oh, it says Solna that way. Look how grey the sky looks today. Something else than the other, you know, two, three weeks ago when it was so great. Actually, I can walk this way here. Broma Plan. Oh, now it's snowing again. That's so weird. It's like shifting from snow to rain all the time. I don't know if it shows on camera. Ah. So this is um, in the west of Stockholm. This is one of the most busiest roundabouts of the whole city. Yeah. 
Yeah, this area always feels a bit like home here, Bromaplan. Because as I said, I used to live behind that tower. I did another video on that. Um, some people are actually asking me sometimes, like, Daniel, why did you live everywhere? Why did you move so many times? Well, it's quite simple. It wasn't my idea. <laughs> you know, there's a big housing crisis in Stockholm. So what I was doing is I was just renting rooms and apartments from other people. It's like second hand kind of in a way. So yeah. And usually they were just renting out for three months, six months, 12 months. So in the last 10 years, I had to move and move and move and move until I actually found a place on my own, um, which I have now. You know, when I got kids and stuff, I got a more per permanent place, of course, because you cannot just move around all the time with ch two small children. So yeah, that's why, because I had to move, not because I wanted to move. I wasn't exploring Stockholm, is that what you thought? <laughs> okay, so we made it just in time because it's starting to snow like crazy. That's oh. good, as we say in Swedish. Which means, oh my god. That's good. Well, this was an adventure, I can tell you that. <laughs> I don't know if it showed on the, on camera, but it wasn't that easy. Oh. So, and that's where I'm going. Conditori. Let's go to the Fika place, have a coffee. Okay, folks, thank you for watching this funny snowy slash rainy walk. I hope you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, and I see you all tomorrow in a new adventure. Bye!